So before the uh, test the new vaccine and in the uh, clinical trial, which uh, go to the human, uh, scientists normally test them first in the uh, preclinical study, which using the animal uh, as the model. The purpose of the preclinical study is to ensure the vaccine is uh, safe and then uh, the vaccine can induce uh, good immune responses and the vaccine is effective. There's a couple of the key animal study was involved in this vaccine preclinical study. The first one is the uh, immune genesis study. This study help you uh, understand when the scientist has a couple of different vaccine candidates and to, to help us to select down the good candidate and also help us to uh, find out how much vaccine uh, need to be used and to in order to produce the good immune responses. So the toxicity study, normally we're using the rabbit or rat and after immunization uh, to these animals, the scientists will monitor the, the clinical observations uh, from these animals. We also take uh, um, uh, different tissues and uh, from different time and to uh, looking for whether their uh, vaccine can cause any harm uh, or damage for those tissues. And then we also looking uh, for whether after the immunizations, how long the vaccine material will be cleaned out from the bodies. So to answer that question, the bowel distribution study is very useful. So uh, those study normally using the uh, small animals like mice and uh, after injection vaccine to these animals and the scientists will be collect the tissues and blood uh, from various different time point to looking for uh, whether the vaccine remain in the tissues or blood for how long. We do not want any vaccine can stay in the bodies for too long time that eventually can cause some problem. In order to do the efficacy study, and scientists first have to develop uh, the animal models uh, which can mimic the disease transmission. And uh, so like normally how people get uh, infected, those animal models have to be first developed and so find out which animal and after you give them the passaging, develop a similar uh, disease, similar clinical symptom as the humans. And so that model will be using for doing this efficacy study. So uh, we will give this animal uh, vaccine and then uh, late after certain time and uh, like 28 days and we give them the, the passaging and then we check whether this animal will be get protected. So if this vaccine is effective and those vaccinated animal will be not sick and the, the control animal will get sick. So that indicate this vaccine will be benefit for the people. With all this uh, uh, data, especially the safety data, the FDA will allow the clinical uh, study start and the vaccine can inject to the people. So uh, from here, you, and you can see that uh, the scientists actually did a lot of work and before the, uh, the vaccine really can go to uh, humans. We spent so much effort on that to find out the, the right candidate from the, the new vaccine so they can uh, produce a good uh, immune responses when they go to the uh, humans. And these immune responses really can protect the humans uh, to uh, protect the get infection.